My name is Devin Drown from the University of Alaska Fairbanks. Today I'm going to share my portable genomics hackathon for pathogen detection. This was a practical application of adaptive sampling to engage undergraduate learning. For many years, I've been using nanopore sequencing to engage undergraduates in hands-on research opportunities in genomics. The MinION is a perfect tool to provide a gateway into the genomics world by enabling students to work directly with this technology and providing opportunities for learning and creative problem solving. This past year, I ran a multi-week workshop engaging undergraduate students with little to no background in genomics. The workshop, or hackathon as I called it, took part in six modules. I started with an introduction to nanopore sequencing, and we learned about applications in pathogen surveillance like Ebola, Zika, and SARS-CoV-2. Next, the students hand-built and tested a portable genomics compute module, with many thanks to Miles Benton for providing clear instructions and technical advice. They started with a pile of computer parts, and by the end of the evening, had working machines for sequencing. The following week, we completed the sequencing followed by bioinformatic analysis. This was the first time most of the students worked at the command line or used R for statistical analysis. Students worked using reproducible research practices. We followed this up by working on how to share our results in the form of compelling visualizations and ultimately a complete presentation at a local science conference. In the final module, students reflected on the combined experience and discussed future endeavors. I'm happy to say that one of those projects is showcased at this conference, Project DART by Daniel Wren. For the sequencing experiments, we used adaptive sampling to enrich for a specific bacterial genome from a mock community. Each student prepared a rapid library and then sequenced using the MinION and their Jetson Compute module. Half of the channels had adaptive sampling turned on to selectively sequence one bacterial genome in our community, with the other half used as a sequencing control. Students ran three technical replicates for eight hours each on four different bacterial community members. Did it work? Yes. What we can see from the graphs is that adaptive sampling in yellow increases target composition with nearly all the reads coming from our target genome. All this enrichment does come at a cost to sequencing yield. We found a drop in total yield from the sequencing run. However, despite this decrease, we found we were able to increase the yield of the target genome by two to three fold. This increase in yield was enough to provide a high coverage genome in a very rapid amount of time, allowing for further downstream analysis. The ongoing pandemic has demonstrated there's a critical gap in understanding genomics information. Increased educational opportunities are needed to help grow the workforce capacity. Because I was working with senior undergraduates, most had lab experience, but very few had data science or experience working in bioinformatics. In this workshop, students applied their bench skills while working with both new hardware and genomic software. While the sample is limited, I found that students gained confidence in these skills in areas after the workshop. I want to thank this hearty crew of biology and wildlife students, Owen, Hannah, Bevan, Danielle, Evan, and Jeremiah, for all their hard work. I also want to thank the University of Alaska Fairbanks URSA program for providing funding and support from the Institute of Arctic Biology, Genomics Core Laboratory, and Alaska IMBRI. Thank you for listening.